Hey, Tequila here with another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Vermont Village's Sipping Vinegar Ginger and Honey. So yesterday I did a review of their Blueberries and Honey Sipping Vinegar and this is apple cider vinegar. So if you're interested in knowing how that tasted, then I recommend that you watch that video on Blueberries and Honey. So what I'm going to do is just pour a little bit in my shot glass. What I normally do is take three uh, teaspoons a day so I kind of can eye it and don't have to measure. So I'm just going to pour it here and I gave it a good shake. And before I taste, taste that, I want to tell you a little bit about um, apple cider vinegar. If you don't know, apple, apple cider vinegar has a lot of health benefits, um, including lowering blood pressure. Um, people use it for a lot of uses, and it actually uh, predates the use. Uh, the use of it predates the birth of Christ by thousands of years. That was kind of interesting to find out. But I actually use this on my face as well. Not this, but the Bragg's apple cider vinegar, which is just a straight up apple cider vinegar. Um, this one has ginger in it, like I said, and also has the mother. So when you see um, an apple cider vinegar and it says it has the mother in it, what that means is that it's, it's unfiltered. So all the good stuff, when it settles, it settles down there to the bottom. I don't know if you can see this very well. But what I like about this one, this particular one, is that the ingredients are raw, and which means they're unprocessed, and they are organic. And I'm going to look and read the label for you. It has only six grams of uh, carbohydrates, only six grams of total sugar. So they have raw, organic, and unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother, organic honey, and organic ginger. So this is good stuff. So I'm going to get right on to the taste test. I'm going to smell it first, see what kind of nose this ginger and honey has. So I can smell the ginger in it. And of course you can smell the apple cider vinegar. So here's the good health. Okay, um, that again, like the blueberries and honey, is much milder than the, the Bragg's apple cider vinegar on its own. And I can taste the ginger in this. And um, it's, it's pretty subtle. The whole drink is, but this is much more bearable than the apple cider vinegar on its own. So some people take it straight up like this. Some people mix it into um, eight ounces of water. Sometimes I actually mix it in with um, a cup of, of hot tea and a little bit more honey. So that is pretty good. I would have to say that I would purchase that again. Um, so I don't know, did we talk about the health benefits of ginger? No? Okay. Well, ginger is antimicrobial, which means that it fights bacteria. Um, they say that it's good for things such as inflammation in your body, which, you know, is what basically what arthritis is. It is also good for um, your immune system. It's also good for indigestion and a lot of other things. Too many to list here. So I'm interested in the ginger because a lot of people take ginger, you know, when they're cold. When they have colds, which I don't really believe in colds, I do believe that you have, um, you know, like sinus drainage and that can uh, lead to having excess mucus in your, you know, your lungs or your bronchial tubes. But that is the main reason that I'm taking the ginger and it's just good for you. So that's my review on Vermont Village's Ginger and Honey. Tomorrow I will be reviewing my last one, which is their um, turmeric and honey. And we'll talk about that tomorrow. So stay tuned and hit that subscribe button. Thank you.